Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. All right. Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with the, the world right now, Robert Garcia. First of all, Robert, nice to meet you. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. No, for sure, man. Um, You got a pretty busy card. I know you got Raymond Murataya. I believe uh, I and can be wrong. Is Art Barrera Jr. And I have Art Barrera Jr. Okay. also on the camp, but he's going to be early, so that'll give me some time. You know, he fights early, then I have some time to focus on uh, Lindolfo and Raymond. No, for sure, man. And, yeah. and Raymond Murataya, I know his name's been in the headlines all week. Um, you know, he's linked to all these fights, you know, like Williams Peta, Shakur Stevenson, Navarrete. Uh, how, how do you feel about him against those guys and just his overall he's development? Ready, man. I, I'm, you know, we've been, you know, top rank. Top rank is the, the promotion right now that has the champions at 135. The IBF is going gonna, is gonna, to, is, is, you know, Lomachenko is fighting Combos for the for the vacant IBF. So top rank should have the, the, the champion there. Navarrete is also fighting for a vacant title, so top rank should have the, the champion there. And they have the WBC champion too in Shakur, you know. Uh, so, you know, we've been asking, and, you know, top rank knows. We've been telling them this kid is ready for a world title fight, but for, for one reason or the other, it looks like we just, you know. It's not the time right now. You know, like they're, they're not giving us that time, you know. I know, I know it's not top rank. Obviously, the, the champions also have to have to choose who they're fighting, especially if it's just a voluntary title defense, you know, they, they get to choose, you know. But what I just read, uh, uh, Shakur is, 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 is fighting... Uh, June 6th. June, no, no, July. Oh, July, July, July. Something. In, in New Jersey. You know, we, we asked for it, you know, we talked to Top Rank about it, but uh, it looks like he chose to fight somebody else, you know. I don't know what, I, I really can't, I don't know how the, how, how I got him. How we got, uh, you know, how the negotiation went. I don't know if they've been offered. I don't even know if Top Rank even offered him to fight uh, Raymond. But we've been telling Top Rank that we want we want to fight for the world title. So they should have. I know um, Raymond's also been very vocal about wanting to fight Keyshawn Davis. He, he said that's an easy fight for him. Is, is that is. a fight too you it guys are pushing for? But, you know, right now we're looking at a title shot. You okay. know, we're looking at, at a world title shot. Maybe, maybe if, if we're able to get a title shot and we win the title, then maybe our, our defense could, you know, we could defend against against Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis is a great fighter, great talent, but uh, I, I honestly truly believe that you know he'll be there, but he's not ready yet. Okay. Needs more seasoning, more I experience. Think so. I think so. He needs a little more experience, and he, you know, he'll be a superstar. And and him and I talked about it one day. You know, both fighters being in a huge event, huge, huge fight, both you know fighting each other, and that is true. But I, I don't think it's time right now. Okay. Okay. What What do you think makes Raymond Murataya uh, a, a, a special standout talent? You know what? He's you know he's just so talented. He's got great power. Great counter punching, you know. He's just got everything, you know. He's he's uh, he's already he's already, you know, experienced everything in boxing, you know. In the gym, obviously, the best sparring he could get out, you know, in my gym. But when it comes to fights, he already experienced everything. He's already fought everybody that, you know, different styles, punchers, boxers, counter punchers, and he's able to dominate all of them. You know, that's just the way he is. You're just a just a complete well-rounded fighter. I think so. Okay, okay. And I just saw this morning uh, they just announced Bam versus uh, Guy Oshada right for, for here. Corner. Yeah, right around the two blocks from here. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about that one? But Bam, that one, man. I guess Can't another you know really good fighter. Can't wait for that one. You know, Bam is Bam. Bam told us, you know what? Uh, if it's not Gallo, I don't want to fight in June. You know, I, the only the only way I'll fight is if it's against Gallo Estrada because he's he's um he's having his newborn uh, daughter uh, in April. Okay. So he told us, if it's not Gallo, I'd rather spend time with my daughter and see her grow the first few months, and I'll fight end of the summer, maybe early fall. But, uh, you know, we were able to put this together with uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, uh, the zone, the team, you know, Gallo's team also. You know, we can't we can't say it was just us. Uh, we got to also give credit to Gallo Strada, who is a champion and who could fight anybody else, but he also chose to fight Bam. So we got to give him not, nothing but respect. Not for sure. Bam, Bam's a, a very interesting fighter because you know he's a, he's in a low weight class where the fights tend to happen quicker, and there's a lot of big names in and around his weight. Uh, it, how realistic do you think maybe a fight with him and like maybe the mo monster in a way? Because I've heard his name thrown in there at yeah, times. Yeah, but you know what? I don't think, I don't even see that re being re any 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 re anything realistic to it because Bam's a you know he's actually a 112 champion yeah, yeah. moving up to 115. <laughs> and know he's a 122 pounder who 
within a year or so he'll probably move up to featherweight. featherweight yeah. So we're not, you know, we're not going to be doing, you know, jumping in divisions just to get that big fight. You know, I don't even see that being realistic, honestly. You know, there is a lot of talk, and I people have asked me, but I don't see that being any any realistic. You know, he's he's going to be a featherweight by the time Bam is a bantamweight. Yeah. So it's it's going to be really hard, man. Uh, you know, I don't I don't I don't see that happening. Okay. Okay. It's not it's not a possibility. You know, with, with with Bam, you know. Cause I've seen him. I've seen him like in between fights. He's kind of like he's wide. He no, carries. He yeah. Get big, you know, yeah, yeah. But but yeah. But it's, it's you know that's that's in between fights. You know when he gets down, he's a small kid too. You know so eventually, I think he will be champion at 122 and even 126 one day. But by the time that happens, Inouye might be a lightweight. You know what I mean? Inouye's also not not wasting his time just waiting for Bam. He's gonna he's gonna keep moving. He's gonna you know he's gonna spend a year in at 122 and then move up to. I'm sure he's gonna move up to uh, featherweight in. to featherweight. Yeah. You know, so, you know, but Bam, that's all he wants. He wants the big fights. He doesn't want to take any easy fights, any stay busy fights. You know, they, you know, we told him, you know, you, your date is June 29. It could be Gallo or somebody else. Like, if it's not Gallo, I'm not fighting. You know, other guys, you know, Shakur is pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world, too. And from what I understand, he's fighting a guy that lost his last fight. Really? So, so yeah. how can a pound for pound fighter, a pound for pound fighter choose to fight a guy that lost his last fight? If you're pound for pound, you gotta fight the best. Top guys, the killers. Top guys, man. That's what you should be fighting. That's what you should be fighting, man. I, honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see why they would even consider that fight with a guy that lost his last fight. Unfortunate, man. You know, it's part of boxing, man. Yeah, it happens. yeah, it happens. So, so, sometimes fighters they get cold feet. They don't want to take the fights too. It happens, know, it man. Be... It happens, but it, it is what it is. You know, Shakur's a great fighter. One of one of the best fighters, uh, pound for pound. But you know, I don't know if that's his plan also, just to get a quick, stay busy, quick win. Because from what I understand, that, that this might be his last fight for top rank also. So he might maybe, be leaving. Maybe that's his plan also. So I don't blame him either. You know, he's a he's a he's a smart man. He's got a great team behind him. I know his management team. You know, they're they're great people. So so uh, so they know what they're doing. But it, it did kind of surprise me that that they choose to fight somebody that lost his last fight you know I, I i just i just don't see a pound for pound fighter choosing to fight a guy that lost his last fight yeah you'd rather him fight someone like raymond Muratia, you know someone top of course, guy man, of course plus they fight for the same company exactly so it's a it's an easy fight business wise exactly, to make exactly well, why why do you feel like like what what, what do you see in shakur that maybe raymond could exploit like nah man you know what nah shakur's a badass fighter man. yeah but raymond is just like bam they want to fight the best they want to fight they want to test themselves they want to fight Everybody wants horror there. fights. Exactly, you yeah, know. Yeah. No, I, I don't see. You know, <laughs> they're on the weak Shakur's day. badass, bro. Shakur's pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world. Maybe he, he talent wise, maybe he already is the best fighter. Number in the one, world. you think? You know, it's just, it's just that you know. Obviously, we got guys like Terence Crawford who just had a great win, and Nui who's been having great wins. Mm -hmm. Canelo who's still up there, you know. Better be having Bivol. Exactly, yeah. but talent wise, you know, if you. Compare them just talent, not who they're fighting or who they've been fighting. Shakur might be the most talented of all. That, yeah, that's what Raymond wants. You know, that's mm -hmm. what Raymond wants. Raymond's chasing greatness, yeah. just like Bam is. What is it about uh, his talent or his, like what specifically about his talent or his skills you feel makes him so high? Smart guy, man. Smart guy in the ring. He'll figure you out. He, you know, he, you know, he'll he'll fight. He'll he'll fight on the outside. He could, you know, get in the inside too. He's just so defensive. He's a smart fighter, man. He's got everything. Does, does he remind you of anybody from like back in the day? Any fighters yesteryear? I can't, I can't, I can't really say who, but but you know, because the style's totally different. But that type of fighter that that uh, that was so hard to beat and, and and so difficult to beat, somebody like uh, Sweet P. Whitaker. Okay. You know, I know the styles are not are not are not are not the same. But you know, Squid P would be that. You know, he'll fight it. You know, he'll fight. He, it was just so difficult to beat him. And 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 Shakur is the, that that same guy kind of guy. Oh, okay, okay. How, how do you? I mean, you were on that weight class. You you went some of the weight class you competed in when you were fighting, right? Uh, when yeah, you I fought at my. When I was fighting at featherweight, but then my. I know you had thirty. Thirty, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what, what about you and Shakur at one thirty? Nah, <laughs> <there's two talents, laughs> man. Uh, nah, you know I, I gotta be real too, man. I can't say oh, I would have kicked his ass. Nah, he probably would have fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shakur's talented. Yeah, he's he's top top guy. Yeah, he uh, is. One of the last question, I'll let, you, I'll let you go because I know you got the press comments soon. But um, going back to Bam, I know you mentioned if he could, he said if he could fight Guy, he couldn't. He's not gonna fight anybody, right? But 
why was a fight with him and Romo Gonzalez discussed? Because you know they're in the same weight class. You know what? With 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 Chocolatito Gonzalez, I think the the, the, the reason is because Mr. Honda has has so much respect for both of them. He loves both of them. He's no he's 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 developed both of them since the beginning, and uh, they became friends. So that's that's the reason. I don't I don't see Bam and, and Chocolatito fighting each other because of Mr. Honda. Uh, you know that's why you know we we're going after uh, Gallo. You know, okay, that and, makes sense. and and Gallo and and Gallo and, and Chocolatito have had three great fights, very close fights. Uh, but Gallo has you know he won the last one, so he's the champion, and we're going for the title. Going, going for the guy that's the top guy, you know. Exactly. But Robert, I don't want to hold you up much longer. Uh, is there any final message you want to give to the boxing world about Ryan Murataya and your fighters and RGBA? You know why not? Just, you know, thanks for all the support, man. I get nothing but love and support from everybody. You know, just stay tuned. You know, my fighters fight the best and they want to be the best. So that's the way we're working. You know, we keep doing it. We keep working on that. All right, Robert Garcia, thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.